Hello and welcome to Spectrum Geeks. My name is Dale and welcome to another one of our solar monthly performance updates, this time for May 2022. So I thought I'd do this video outside in the garden seeing as the sun is out. It's not too windy, so hopefully you can hear me fine, but we're gonna talk about the solar performance for our nine kilowatt solar PV system we have here in Worcestershire. If you're new to the channel and these videos, um, have a little look at uh, the card up the top and it will show you a video giving you all the details about the setup that we have and how things work. But let's jump into it and talk about the solar production we had for May 2022. So the system generated 1.0 megawatt hours. We're back into the megawatt hours of generation, which is absolutely fantastic. We consumed 0.93 megawatt hours of electricity and we exported 0.08 megawatt hours and in terms of how much we imported from the grid that was not 0.46 megawatt hours so not too bad in terms of our kind of generation so we're kind of getting into a nice solar production months again here in the uk which is great and again pretty much everything that we import from the grid we do import uh, off peak so it saves us some money and we'll talk about that a little bit uh, later in the video in terms of how much our electricity bill was for the month of May as well. So let's talk about some of the st kind of standout days, both the good production, the bad production, and our maximum exports and imports over the month of May. So our top generation day for the month was the 28th of May. We generated 48.978 kilowatt hours electricity. Our worst generation day, not surprisingly, was the 1st of May, so only 11.29 kilowatt hours. So again, our worst day for the month. In terms of our highest import day, so this would be when the power wall needed to charge up quite a lot. Obviously, we're heating the hot water for the showers and also probably charging the car. That was the 2nd of May, so our highest import day. And we imported 64.639 kilowatt hours from the grid. Again, all off peak. And then our highest export day was the 31st of May which we exported 11.238 kilowatt hours of electricity to the grid. One of the reasons for having uh, quite a lot of export this month compared to normal is we went away at the end of the month. Um, so obviously we had some good weather, which is nice, um, but um, obviously there's nothing plugged in at home other than the power wall uh, and hot water to, in terms of to consume uh, our generation. So a lot of it went out to the grid. Also, because we're away, it means that I wasn't at home to check both the Eddy and the Zappy in person to get the very specific stats about grid import and solar generation in terms of our usage. So we do only have the uh, actual stats we have from the app. And I won't rant again like I always do about why can't the information in the app be the same as we have on the devices themselves. So let's talk about um, how we used that um, solar energy. Again, not clear breakdown, but how much energy over the month we put into heating hot water, charging our electric cars, and what into the, went into the power and what we got out of it. So in terms of our car charging, I mentioned before we've got two electric vehicles and we put 475.7 kilowatt hours of energy into charging cars. Again, can't give you the specifics of the solar versus grid, but any grid, charging always comes from off peak we don't ever have a requirement to charge uh, in an emergency during peak times in terms of our hot water 192.3 kilowatt hours of energy got used to heat hot water now we eat we heat we heat um two hours overnight from the grid during off peak hot water and anything else will be coming from solar surplus that's pretty good and in terms of the power wall 348.4 kilowatt hours of energy we had out of the power wall. And I think there's around 81% of it came from um, solar. So 282.204 kilowatt hours of energy went into the power wall from solar and 66.196 kilowatt hours came from off-peak charging. As mentioned earlier, with Octopus Energy is where we get our electricity on the Octopus Go tariff, where we have you know quite a higher uh, peak energy costs like most people but then we do have some savings with the off peak and in terms of our energy bill um, our bill for the month was 40 pounds and 96 pence we imported 370.9 kilowatt hours electricity but due to kind of most of it being off peak our average price per kilowatt was only 8.52 pence per kilowatt hour which i think 
is actually pretty good. So finally, to finish up the video, we'll talk about kind of the energy savings, how much we get from the feeding tariff because we've got in there right at the end, and had we been getting paid to export, um, how much that would have meant as well. So in terms of our feeding tariff payments, for the amount that we generated, we get paid £42.08. For our deemed export, we get paid £28.05. And then obviously all the solar that we generated, which meant we didn't have to buy it from the grid to charge cars, heat water, and just generally run the house, that saved us the equivalent of £286.25 of electricity we didn't have to buy from the grid for the month. So that's a total of £356.38 that goes into our solar payback calculations to help obviously pay off um, the cost of the solar and everything. And then if we were to get paid for specifically what we export, we would have exported 80 kilowatt hours this month and we would have been paid £4.40 based on getting about um, five and a half pence per kilowatt hour. So I hope this information helped continue these monthly updates to provide a bit of information about how solar works here in the UK and is it worth it? I still think it is. Uh, I would definitely get solar again. I just wish I did it a little bit earlier. Please feel free in the comments to ask any questions you have as well as let me know how your system has performed so we can compare and contrast both on size of solar PV system as well as, as, well as where you are in the UK or in the world. It'd be interesting to find out if you're watching from abroad how your system has performed as well. So until the next one, take care of yourself and uh, bye for now.